Hello everyone. Uh, we all know that in the near time, actually, CentOS will be discontinued. Uh, but but fortunately, we have several option for migrating our CentOS to other uh, OS that still uh, compatible, like the Elm Linux, Oracle Linux, and also Rocky Linux. In this video, I will demonstrate how to migrate our CentOS to the Oracle Linux. So first, let's check the release that I'm using right now, Red Hat release something like this so this is the CentOS uh, 7.9 so the first thing that we need to do is actually update the whole system using yum update something like this if you are not using the latest CentOS 7.9 you can do this and uh, you will need to reboot like if you are using 7.5.5 or something like that so actually I just only want to demonstrate the update here and actually it won't do anything because I already in the latest for the CentOS and the second is actually we need to install the elevate project from the Alma Linux repository first we need to install the repository for this one elevate release latest so we need to install using yum okay the URL I will include in the description and we need to install the lib uh, upgrade application and the destination of the OS that we want to choose actually to migrate so what we need to install is the lib upgrade and also the lib data let me show you that yum install lib dash upgrade space lib data and the destination this, in this case is oracle linux so let's install that package and something that something like this it will took a time actually but no problem Okay, since uh, I'm using the VM, the GCP, so the speed will be good. And after that, we need to check whether our configuration in the current system is good to move to the next uh, OS using the uh, lib app upgrade pre upgrade. Let me check whether the command is correct like this. Okay, sorry, no need for this. So only lib, lib app something is pre-upgrade. Oh, wrong comment. Lib pre-upgrade something like this. Basically, what this uh, script checking is many things, and the good thing is uh, after the checking complete, actually we can see the report let us to see whether there is there are some issues that we need to solve like let's say the ssh is configuration is not correct we not explicitly write the parameter root login as a yes and then we have some uh, module that we need to disable or even the answer file to uh, accept the risk for using this uh, tools for migrate the os so let's wait uh, for a moment actually it will uh, check many things and we can wait for that and check so as you can see that this is uh, for checking transaction and then gather the okay for the SAP and then for the firewall itself okay for the firewall D is checking that checking the SS SSHD okay and also checking about the memory and something like that and then it will also check for the package that we need to install the Oracle Linux actually so we will wait for a moment it also scan the RPM the installed RPM that already exists in this uh, installation actually the case will be different when you are using uh, your own CentOS I mean let's say you already established many service on that machine maybe some of the rpm will be not suitable or something like that or let's say you have some module that already enabled but not supported in the centos in the destination OS. i think that some uh, will be a uh, issue but no problem since the uh, lib pre-upgrade actually will show the report and what we can do to solve the issue let's wait for a moment for that one okay this also check for the slash etg host also check for the pump for the uh, another data is something like that so yeah we can wait for a moment this still checking is quite a long check actually but I think it's a good thing because we can uh, more sure about the script that it check uh, so many things that the migration will be smooth okay so you can see that right now it's check the repository for the Oracle Linux 8 as you can see in the uh, screen okay 
Okay, still checking. It's also checking the CPU, the PCI driver, the OS release, and something like that. Let's check. Okay, actually, after this phase, if we don't see any, uh, if we don't see any problem, the big problem actually, we can move to another step, which is the upgrade itself. So we can use the lib upgrade. I think the only problem here it will be the answer key, answer file to make to agree the term and condition about using this lib uh, library. Let's check after this. Okay, still checking, no problem. You can see that there are so many RPM that it's very fine, right? and those are the rpm that will be installed in the oracle linux there okay still waiting for the report check okay actually i think there are other approach to use actually the first is upgrade to the centos 8 and then from the centos 8 to the oracle 8 I think, but that's another story. Let's focus on this elevate project that help us to directly migrate from the CentOS 7 to the uh, Oracle Linux 8. It's a good actually, a very very good things. Okay, as you can see that there is one issue here: the missing requirement answer in the answer file. So we can check the report here in the libapp report. Let's check. Okay, what we can do actually for okay, so this is the one that block the upgrade. So we can use this slip answer okay to remove the pump pkjs uh, 11 module check. Okay, let's proceed for this one. Lip answer enter gun and then let to upgrade. Okay, let's try. This is where the interesting part begin. Let's see for the upgrade itself. Okay, it's checking in. I uh, I think it will took the same time as before, but I think less because the install the package already installed right for the Oracle Linux. So, okay, just wait. We can wait. Many thing we can wait. Okay, still waiting. Okay. Okay, as I mentioned, maybe you can. Okay, let's say you want to migrate your established or your production system. I think the better way is you can try to replicate that production, at least in the small scale, and then try to migrate from that dev or a demo machine first to make sure that all of the service will be running after the migration because you know even the, we have script but still maybe we have something that won't work in the destination os and better to make sure okay still checking okay it's checking the rbm again okay since it's already installed it will take a less time check 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 still checking many things to check Okay, I think it's all okay. It will be less than because it's already verified the RPM before. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Still waiting, waiting and waiting. Okay. What's the problem here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's installing again. Okay, I d okay. I hope it's already start installing for the upgrade, not for check only. Let's see. Okay, 18 by 131. Okay almost complete almost and 131 good things okay so the dnf version is 
uh, 7 it's good actually because if we are upgrade to the CentOS 8 actually the DNF version I think it will be le uh, before the 4.1 yeah 4.7 is good let's see okay it's complete then let's check let's check what happened next Red Hat release to 8.5 okay still waiting oh okay still report I think I execute the correct command lib upgrade oh, okay so this you can see that the repository here is OL8 now so it's Oracle Linux 8 let's see wait and see okay install 2035 packages is okay it's called mm, okay good dnf package actor info dnf to download okay it's the dnf downloading the packets now seems like that let's check oh okay oracle linux lay release okay it's removing some packages okay skip skip already downloaded before okay good things okay it's, it's downloading okay from 524 packages halfway ah okay move on okay almost there all okay 400 one 100 more almost there good 30 okay almost okay yum okay so the yum version is same with the dnf 4.7 okay the last one okay the download is done here so what we can do later is see okay processing in stream preparation okay upgrade in ram okay in the drama, okay, Jersey F, okay, good. Okay, okay, since I am using the uh, GCP, actually, uh, at least I can share what happened if we are using uh, 11 project in the GCP. Uh, success or not, I will share this actually. So let's still wait. I'm grading the initram FS. Actually, the process is quite quick as long as there is not much not so many issue found during the pre-check and also for the download process yeah as long as you have the good con internet connection i think it will be good it will be uh, fast enough okay the configuration for this centos is two cpu and four core i think yeah with plain uh, centos that's why i mentioned if you install many rpm custom rpm for your service like HTTP, uh, Nginx, or MySQL, Postgres, uh, Redis, MongoDB, and something like that, I think might affect the duration. Okay, still waiting. I'm not quite sure how long it will take actually, but at least we already have around 13 or 15 minutes working for the migration i think it's a uh, good thing is to spend that uh, 15 minutes for migrate os actually let's wait mm. let's see still okay so okay upgrade in from fs okay let's check whether this oh okay i think it will be Let's wait. Let me check for the usage for the resource. Okay, let's check for the usage. For the last one hour for CPU utilization, okay, I think it's good for the two CPUs to core. It's not using the 100 percent, 
okay for the network traffic also something like that the memory okay oh let's see the IOPS okay we can see okay not that one fortunately we cannot see the memory utilization because I'm not installed the agent okay still I'm great it took time but it's okay let's check for the CPU CPU utilization and then process okay cannot see also okay let's wait anyway if you are in the Indonesia or you have uh, GoPay or something like that or some Indonesian payment service you can donate in the by scanning the QR code in the top right of the screen it's our area you can donate there or yeah and don't forget to subscribe and share this video to help the other to try to migrate from the CentOS to Oracle Linux okay it's still waiting Okay, I think it will took time so I will cut the video to be the part one for the migrating from the CentOS 7 to the Oracle Linux here. I will share the part second as the progress after the upgrade in Ethereum FS. See you in the part two.